Good afternoon, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Hello to all of my new subscribers out there. Thank you so much for joining me. And I want to just say it has been a while since I have seen all of you. Um, I will go into that on another video. I'm not going to take up time on this video, but uh, I'll explain, you know, my slight absence and also some changes to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to share with all of you a book haul. Um, recently, I celebrated my birthday on July 8th and I got some lovely books for my birthday and I've also been sent some books from some publishers to review and so I wanted to show you some of my book related um, gifts. So let's get into this. Okay, let me set that aside. All right, first of all what I would like to show you is for my birthday I got these lovely uh, bookends. They are the Eiffel Tower. They're a nice, you know, black metal. Very, very nice. Once I get my uh, bookcase more organized, I'm going to be putting my, I have a first edition um, New York Press Charles Dickens collection, and that's what I'm going to put um, in between these bookcases. So here they are again. They're absolutely lovely. I got these from my in-laws and my fiance. Okay, next these are sort of a book related. These are actually some a couple DVDs that I got for my birthday. The first one is um, Saint Teresa of Avila. This is a complete mini series. Um, I forget exactly. Let me see. You know, it's it's something like eight hours long. It is such a lengthy movie, but it is wonderful. Um, she happens to be, I am a Roman Catholic, and she happens to be one of my favorite saints, and I have read several um, biographies as well as her book, The Way of Perfection, which she wrote for her cloister contemplative uh, Carmelite nuns. She is one of the saints, in addition to St. John of the Cross, who reformed the Carmelite nuns and monks and priests back in the 1500s so i did want to share this with you and also i got another dvd called breakthrough and this is based on a true story and this actually happened out in st louis which was where i um before i came here to live with my in-laws that's where i was living i was a flight attendant as well as a teacher in st louis and um, shortly after we had come here that winter, um, a family out there, a young boy, teenager, had been, you know, skating with his friends and what have you, and had the ice had broken, and he had gone through the ice. And this has one of my favorite actresses um, from This Is Us, Christy Metz. I, Chrissy Metz, I mean to say, and she is just phenomenal. I love her in This Is Us. I'm absolutely addicted to that show. And when I saw this, not only was it pivotal because it was St. Louis, but also because of her. So this is another DVD I got. So I will give reviews on these. Um, now let's get into the actual books. Um, let's see here. Okay, first I was sent this from one of my very favorite authors, Vivian Lorette. Her newest book coming out, which I have been queried to review from HarperCollins, is The Rogue to Ruin. And it's just a nice little postcard that she sent to me and probably others that are on her, um, you know, email list and what have you. So I thought I would share that. It is a wonderful book. If you love historical romance, I highly suggest Vivian Lorette. Okay, so. I also was queried by um, Harlequin Romance. This is their heartwarming line. This uh, first book I'm going to be reading for review that I don't have my review schedule with me, but that's either coming up in July or August. But this is called Trusting Her Heart by Tara Randall. And this just is seems like a wonderful, wonderful um, contemporary 
Um, it says here, Serena Stanhope feels her dark past might ruin the life she's built as a successful shop owner, especially when handsome Logan Masterson suddenly arrives in town asking questions about her background. He seems to have his own secrets, but the pair share an instant connection and Serena finds herself falling for Logan. He could destroy everything, or he could be the chance at love she thought she'd never have. So this sounds like a really good book. I cannot wait to read and review that. Next, I have also been queried by Harlequin and the author. I had a note here from her. Yes, she sent me an actual little note thanking me for reading and reviewing. And this is Single Dad to the Rescue by Carrie Lynn Webb. And she also sent me a lovely bookmark that is beautiful, which I will use when I'm reading her book. And also some more of her books that have been released. So that is always nice to get some special little goodies. And this book is, look at that dog. Isn't he just precious? Let me just make sure where. Here, I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see some close-ups. But that little dog is so adorable. But her home destroyed by a wildfire. Brooke Ellis finds temporary shelter at the home of paramedic Dan Sawyer and his young son, Ben. With the addition of Brooke and her lively fur family, Dan finds his carefully planned routine delightfully turned upside down and his carefully guarded heart daring to trust in love again. When his ex-wife suddenly reappears, will it be Brooke to the rescue? Oh, that sounds good. That's going to be a lovely read that I'm really looking forward to. And I will definitely be uh, posting my review here on the channel once I get this read and reviewed. That little note just does not want to stay with the book, so I'll just put it inside. So now on with what I got for my birthday. First of all, some of you may or may not know, um, but I am a huge World War II buff. I have been ever since I was a little girl and learned that my grandfather, who was a German, but was also American, he had come over here and became an American citizen. Um, he fought in World War II for the Americans, but he was a German. And yes, he could speak fluent German. So his story always fascinated me. Um, so I have been a World War II buff ever since I was a little girl. And I continue to be fascinated in it as an adult. And also to, to try to understand the mind of someone like Adolf Hitler. Why would he have done what he did and the hatred he had? Um, so I read a lot about you know, World War II real stories, as well as historical fiction. But um, a few weeks ago, we had learned about um, the death of Eva Moses Kaur. Um, may, many of you may have heard through social media, she died. And she was, I believe she was 103, but I will have to double check that at her death. She was one of the Megali twins. Um, I, I, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, correct me, but he was just horrific, one of Hitler's highest ranks. And he did horrible um, experiments on twins, you know, just injecting them with things and just putting them through horrific. And her and her, her twin sister were, you know, part of his torture. And so this is the story, Surviving the Angel of Death, the story of the Mengele twin in Auschwitz. So I am really looking forward to reading this. Um, I will just give you a little, it is um, an editorial review on the back here, but it just says, Ava Moses Kaur has written a very moving and vivid account of an extraordinary and horrific experience. It is an important document showing the strength of the human spirit and the capacity to forgive. And this is by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. So this is just phenomenal. And I have seen her in several documentaries and throughout the book, as you can see here, um, it does have some, some photos. So 
Uh, this is going to be a wonderful read and I will, I'm not sure when I will get to reading this, but I can assure you it will be reviewed on the channel and you will get to hear my thoughts on her story. And in the same light of World War II, I finally got my copy of The Book Thief. I specifically asked for this for my birthday. Um, I have absolutely been wanting to read this for quite a few years now. Um, it is wonderful from what many of you have on the booktube world have shared. It is a phenomenal story and I'm sure many of you know what this is about. A little girl who goes and you know captures the books from the Germans are, are banning many many books and burning them and what have you. Um, let me just give you a little here. Liesel Memager finds her life changed when she unearths a single object from the snow. It is the grave digger's handbook left there by accident at her brother's funeral and is her first act of book thievery. But these are dangerous times. When Liesel's foster family hides a Jewish man in their basement, Liesel's world is both opened up and closed down. In superbly crafted prose that burns with intensity, award-winning author Marcus Zusak has given us one of the most enduring stories of our time. So this is going to be wonderful. Um, I'm not sure, again, when I will get to this. Um, the reason why, and you'll hear in, in another video, is I fortunately get queried by a lot of publishers and their books tend to take precedence before I get to my actual to be read pile which is quite large but and then of course I'm always wanting more books I'm crazy I'm telling you I am absolutely just in love with books so speaking of books I also got this beautiful penguin book of Charles Dickens a life he is one of my favorite authors from the Victorian period. I fell in love with him, well, as a little girl in third grade when I read, um, of course, his classic, you know, A Christmas Story, who hasn't read that, but um, then I read Great Expectations in my freshman honors English class, and wow, was I really opened up to the magnitude of his uh, writing. Phenomenal, phenomenal. You know, of course, as a child, you read the watered-down children versions of A Christmas Story. Yeah. No. I read the real deal with great expectations and loved it. And then a few years ago, when I first moved here, um, we went to a used bookstore, and there was the complete collection. Of course, at that time, I did not know it was a first edition, but it was a complete com com collection of Charles Dickens' um, everything he's ever done including you know even I think essays and things from him in that I would have to look again but I ended up getting that very very cheap I haggled and got a very nice price but here is his actual biography and from what I understand this is Penguin is one of the nicer uh, biographies out there so I really cannot wait to dive in and really read about and study his life because like I said he is one of my favorite authors and I love the Victorian period as many of you know I write historical um, you know romance in the Regency and Victorian period so being able to study one of my favorite authors is phenomenal and speaking of another favorite author of course Jane Austen <laughs> A Life by Claire Tomalin. This is really going to be another wonderful book and I have heard that Claire Tomalin's is really one again one of the better biographies on Jane Austen. So I got this for my birthday and I am really looking forward again to just diving in and studying her life. You know again the Regency period. <laughs> Need I say any more? <laughs> but I really want to learn her life and you know, how she got into the writing and, and everything and how these beloved stories that many of us who do write historical Regency romance love and study and 
yeah and again here's another one that I fell in love with in my freshman honors English in high school yeah I had a phenomenal teacher that year too who really introduced us to some wonderful wonderful works so also last but not least um, my mother-in-law got me this beautiful book I am also a huge fan of the Civil War and Gone with the Wind again this goes back to my childhood um, when yeah I first learned about Gettysburg and what have you in back in third grade and I have loved Gone with the Wind I love Margaret Mitchell's book and then I also have Red Scarlet the continuation of Gone with the Wind well my mother-in-law happened to see this and this is Ruth's journey and Ruth is Mammy the wonderful Yes, she was a slave, um, but she was well loved by the family. She was basically Scarlet's maid. And her character, if you've ever seen or read Gone with the Wind, you know her character is phenomenal. But this is her journey, her life. So this is phenomenal to me to think that, you know, an author has gone and dug into, you know, M Margaret Mitchell's works and her notes and wow. Yes, so this is going to be a wonderful read that will be coming, I hope, in this next year that I get to all of this. And this is by Donald McCaig. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Yes, absolutely. Phenomenal. I just cannot wait. Um, let me just read a couple of the uh, editorial reviews for you. McKay creates a convincing backstory and has a real feel for men and the tensions between fathers, sons, friends, and soldiers, as well as the nuances of Southern Honor, USA Today. McKay combines a farmer's eye for the natural world, a poet's ear for language, and the narrative flair of a bread-in-the-bone storyteller. The result is a novel that is credible, compelling, and humane. Geraldine Brooks, author of March. So, yes, this is going to be wonderful. So, all of these books will eventually be getting read and reviewed here. Well, not read on here, but reviewed. So, I did get some wonderful books some, from some publishers. Wonderful books as birthday gifts that will make a lovely um, addition to my bookshelves over there which need to be rearranged and organized and yeah and then of course my lovely bookend so thank you guys so much for joining me I'm so glad to be back on the channel and again I will be giving an updated video to give you guys like an update on everything that will be coming soon but right now I just wanted to share with you a little book haul I have and I hope all of you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening wherever you are if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join me on my journey of wonderful books and reviews ahead. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.